Although fashion photography was never Annie's main interest, her work with celebrities attracted Anna Wintour at American Vogue, who was pulling the magazine away from models on the covers to actresses on promotional tours and other famed figures in popular culture. One of the most memorable of these shoots was a story on current fashion designers leading the industry, with one of Vogue's favorite models, Natalia Vodianova, playing Alice in Wonderland with designers like Marc Jacobs and Tom Ford as the other characters in the fairy tale. Being able to use Annie Leibovitz was a huge benefit for Vogue, since stars would jump at the chance to work with her. Anna Wintour appreciated this pull and would accommodate Annie's wishes for the opulent productions. If you ring up Nicole Kidman and say, you know, Joe Smith's going to photograph you, you know, next month, you know, a big yawn. If you ring up and say, Anne Leibovitz wants to photograph you for the cover, neck, neck, you know, she'll be there that night, you know, with bells on. She puts such a stamp on a picture. I mean, you can look at her work and you, there's no way anyone else ever took that picture. There are a lot of photographers out there. They don't really suffer and agonize and obsess the way that Annie does. She cares. She cares. As a prelude to the 2012 London Summer Olympics, American Vogue commissioned Leibovitz to highlight some of the stars from Team America. With the help of model Carly Kloss and gowns from designers like Oscar de la Renta and Alexander McQueen, Leibovitz masterfully balances the power of these superhumans with the elegance of a supermodel. The result was not only one of Annie's most memorable works at Vogue, but a great tribute to the hard work of these Olympic contenders. At least for a few weeks every four years, athletes from less recognized sports like gymnastics and swimming were elevated to rock star status. The cover featured soccer player Hope Solo, swimmer Ryan Lochte, and tennis legend Serena Williams, who Annie first photographed for Vogue with her sister Serena in 1998. A few months later, all three of them went on to win gold medals in London, with Lochte actually winning two gold, two silver, and a bronze. In a 2021 interview with Financial Review, Leibovitz describes her relationship with fashion, admitting that in the start of her career, she didn't take fashion seriously at all and that to her, fashion seemed like the low end of the spectrum. One of the things about fashion is that models know what they're doing and they like being photographed, she says. That was such a new thing for me. I felt like the dentist before that, you know? Everyone hated me. To enter this world where people liked being photographed and would play along, I couldn't believe it. It felt like I was cheating or something. As resistant as she may have been initially, the fashion industry embraced Annie, with the biggest clients in the luxury market hiring her for their campaigns. Since many clients were moving away from models and towards actors for their major campaigns, her reputation as the go-to photographer to the stars made her the perfect fit. From Prada to Christian Dior to Louis Vuitton, everyone wanted to work with Leibovitz. With the support of the industry behind her, Annie saw an opportunity to push the boundaries of her photography, taking the documentary style of her previous work to elaborate productions in hard-to-reach locations and giant, expensive props. This was the new look for Leibovitz. This new direction found a perfect partnership with the global juggernaut that is Disney.